Welcome everybody to Behind the Bash. Of course, taking you behind our birthday bash years that have uh, that have gone by, and of course, uh, getting ready for this year. Thanks to everybody who's been checking us out on all different platforms. Shout out to uh, to I One, to Radio One, um, everybody. My name is Devin Steele, Program Director of Hot 107.9. Uh, one of our co-hosts, uh, Gil Jones, Director of Marketing, uh, Radio One Atlanta. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. I want to seven nine. Je- a birthday bash, Jesus. <laughs> I don't know about all that. Yeah. I don't know about that. That's a huge title. <laughs> <laughs> and special guest, the legendary, and I don't use the word legend lightly. Beehive, what up, Beehive? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? You like family up here? Listen, Be I you know, Come I was on. thinking about it earlier. I was like, man, how to like? We've got such a good rapport from you know working together, and you're such a a legend and such a. Uh, a likable guy. Thank Somebody you. it was like, who is Beehive? And I was like, Gil was like, you gotta come check him with Beehive when you come to the city. Yeah. You like to. Yeah, that's crazy. You're like got the to. old you're like one of the old gangsters on the corner. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, right, you gotta right, come right, check him. Right. No shit, I don't mean to call you old. That's the term. No, I'm endearing. with you. But that, legendary shoot. and I don't use that term lightly because people go, Oh, you you're a legend you've done something for a long time. That's not what's legendary. Legendary means you've done something at a high level. For a Ooh. long, for a long time, you know what I mean. God, yeah. That's how you become a legend. That's true. Those are the biggest facts, right there. Yeah. You know, when I started this thing, it was uh, it wasn't cute to do. Right, okay. right. You know, I was just you saying were, that. Exactly. You yeah. said, uh, and I hate to be this blatant, but you sent the losers to the internet, okay? Right. You, you can't get on the air. You need to go, go to, to the internet and nah, look crazy. Nah, that is and facts. I was thinking to myself, you know what? The future of it is the internet. I'm yeah. about to go on here and I'm about to crank this thing all right. the way yeah. up. Yeah. No, that's facts, By man. doing so, I mean, we had so many legendary conversations and stuff like that. I mean, the game, it just kind of changed. You know, like we were just talking about the other day with Killer Mike winning those three Grammys. Right, yeah. right, Hip-hop right. has become an OG sport at the same time. It used to be just for the kids, and then right. once you got a certain age, you get kicked mm-hmm. out, go ahead off the pasture looking crazy. Mm-hmm. However, now... You got the kids, the grown folks. Well, I'll put it like this. LeBron is about to play with his son. Right. That's, okay. Well, I'm going to say this, Does though. that make sense? Yeah. But I know, I know we're supposed to be talking about Bash and stuff, but the yeah. OGs, bro, like, so the OGs, um, I feel like have longevity because they understand how to properly A&R themselves. That's real. And mm. development. You know what That's I'm saying? Real. Like, somebody asked me the other day, I was like, man, Jeezy's still selling our shows. I like Jeezy know how to Jeezy was part of the era where they knew how to develop an artist. That's right. And those artists can stay around longer. You know exactly. what I'm saying? And so I, I would say that, say that about you, bro. Like Thank you. yo, like I tell people all the time, like, yo, B High was doing this before mm. it was cool. That's right. Like before it was cool, yeah. B High was doing this. I remember I remember me and B I having a conversation. And he was like, Man, I make I ain't gonna say the number, but man, I'm making <laughs> this, man. <laughs> And I said, damn, for real? And I already know the numbers like five times now yeah, yeah. than what it was. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. this, was, this, was this was pre-COVID. Yeah, this yeah. was pre-COVID. This was pre-COVID. It was going down. Yeah, God. yeah. yeah. So, God. man, congratulations on your Thank success, you, bro, because you're killing it, bro. Thank you. And and you've been doing it for a minute. That's, I mean, even, you know, I say, you know, like uh, BC, it's it's PDS. It's pre, <laughs> pre-Devin pre Steele. Right, 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 right. I mean, you know, I know what you were doing in the imprint that you had, you know. So yeah. it's like, it, to your point, Gil, like, a lot of OGs are still gatekeepers for the simple mm. fact that, and I'm not going to get into this whole conversation, but yeah. because a lot of the younger folks, to your point, they don't know what it takes to take that, snatch that pebble and take it up a notch. Yeah. You know it, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, they don't know what it takes, and they don't want to know what it takes mm-hmm. because they don't want to do that work. You it's know also the humility that comes along with no, it. No, most definitely. Because just yeah. like everybody else, I started at five and ten views too now. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay? right, right. And you right. have to continue to put that out while everybody's watching what you're doing. And you're yeah. like, wait a minute, this ain't looking good. Exactly. It ain't looking sexy at exactly. yeah. views and it's from you clicking on that video. Right, 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 right. Exactly. But, exactly. So after we started working through all of those ins and outs, man, we were able to just try to figure out how to galvanize the A-Town in the South and bring them all together and give mm. them a place to call home and yeah. be able to have those conversations. Conversations, but it was always about the conversation. Yeah. What yeah, are you yeah. talking about? What's going on in your life? What is your story? Right. And it was like I was trying to cover a lot of those stories before everybody else realized that's where the goal was. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. You see what oh, I'm no. saying? Oh no, because they got longevity, so mm-hmm. they can, they got stories on top of stories. Come on. Whereas you trying to interview an artist that has been out a year, they can't tell you nothing. <laughs> 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 they, but they, 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 they ain't got no the stories yet. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You and know what they don't even know that they're supposed to be telling the story and creating content mm, every yeah, time right. they touch down. You're right. You're you know? right. So right. for me, it's like 
The game is about to go someplace else, though, now, fellas. Yes. Mm -hmm. It Where's started it going? with the interviews. The interviews were cute, mm -hmm. but now it's going into the conversation. It's going into the debates. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like what yeah. me and Wick do, we get in there and we debate albums. We debate, uh, we debate the music and the culture at the same time. Right, right. right, right. Our first debate that went crazy was uh, 8 Ball and MJG and uh, UGK, who yeah. had the best album. Was mm -hmm. it? Coming out hard or was it riding dirty? Don't, right, don't look right. at me. You, I, 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 saw, yeah, I, saw, I, saw, I love it. That's how he looked at me. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Like, you know, he like eight ball exactly. MJG all day. Exactly. That was definitely, yeah, yeah, I yeah. love both of them. And so the thing is, is that you have to pick a side, even yeah. though you might not be on the side that you're picking. You got to yeah. be able to argue that side for the sake you. of the show. Right, so right. That's the conversation right there. So love before, it. before we jump into birthday bash, I will say this though. I think. UGK's bandwidth was bigger because they were signed to Jive. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And Bob and MJG hit really – I was telling somebody, I remember Freaknik 94. Like, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That's the only Freaknik the year I came. That's yeah. when Coming Out Hard was out. Mm. And that's all everybody played. We walked, exactly. from, we walked from underground to Piedmont Park. And that's <laughs> all everybody was playing in wow. their cars. Yeah. yeah. Was Coming Out Hard. Those you know facts. what I'm saying? Because it was facts. such a different album. But, but you know, Bum B is – I mean, uh, Pimpsey and Bum B is such an important part of my life. You know what I mean? Like, ah, those records, like, it just – the bass lines and the live instrumentation and the Come same on. thing about Ball and yeah. MJG. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, oh, that. man, say that to say, man, of course it's about... <laughs> it's like we can have a whole other conversation. Another conversation, oh, conversation. Another conversation yeah. man. But, yeah. um, man, I appreciate you, you know, agreeing to, to jump on here. You have... No some amazing birthday bash stories. How many birthday bashes were you a part of? I mean, a part of... It was probably from 04, because uh -huh. I came in as a volunteer slash intern wow. when I was in college. That was probably 03, 04, all the way up until probably about 22 or 21, right in there around the COVID time. Yeah. So for me, I'm going to tell you about my first birthday bash. It was at Lakewood. Uh -oh. okay? okay. And you being a Memphis guy, you know, Yo, first thing, what I first thing, when you say this. Lakewood, uh, everybody say, oh, well, no, oh, Lakewood. Lakewood was going down, but I remember <laughs> I was an intern and I got a lesson in grinding mm. from Yo Gotti. Mm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. See, Yo Gotti wasn't that big in Atlanta back then, right, but right. I knew his music because, you know, I'm a Memphis fan when it comes to part time, music. Right. So part time exactly. grind. Come right. on That's now. Right. Right. So I remember seeing him coming through the back gate. With a stack of CDs in his hand. Mm. And I was thinking to myself, this is Joe Gotti. Right. But right, everybody right. else didn't know that I was Joe Gotti. But right. then I'm thinking to myself, if he could come back here with a stack of CDs in his hand to pass them out backstage, mm. that's what a real hustler and a grinder wow. is. Wow. And the humility behind it, like we was talking about earlier, being able to start with those five or ten views. Mm -hmm. You got to have that humility mm. to be able to go in there, to go up through there at the same time. Yeah. And seeing him do that had always inspired me in a way to where you saw where he went. Right. Yeah, most definitely. But I actually got a chance to see where he was coming from. Wow. And he had already made it by the time I had seen him. But I saw that grind and that effort. So that's one of my favorite birthday bash stories right there. Because I wow. don't even think anybody else even noticed that right. except for me. Because right, I was like, I right. got it. Yeah. What, what was your first birthday bash like you ever attended, though? Okay. Now, that was back in high school. So, you uh -oh. know, when I, yeah, 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 yeah. That was back in high school. See, those were the days. Did you buy brother. a ticket? No, we weren't buying no tickets. <laughs> we weren't buying no tickets to Lakewood. Because, see, the whole thing is, the question would be, you going to the birthday bash? You going to the birthday bash? The right. day of, me and my brother, we would always run into each other. Like, right. Oh, we going, going to the birthday bash. Because <laughs> yeah, right, you'd right, be right. like, no, we ain't going to be going. Right. So we would get up there. You get up there to Lakewood. They had a little cut through the woods. You yeah. go through that little cut, and then you throw your body over the wall. And it started to become like a little family <laughs> thing that me and my brother had going on. Hell so no. I was doing <laughs> <laughs> I was doing it for probably about 15, 16, 17, and I think 18. But the craziest wow, one was crazy. we ran through the woods. And this is how serious Birthday Bash was. Okay. So it was me, my brother David Hightower, and I, uh, his homeboy Janobis. We was back there in the woods getting ready to throw our bodies over to go to the concert right. as usual. But it was a lady and her baby back there. <laughs> And she said, will you throw my baby over the man, wall? Man, get out of here. And we were like, man. hell no, we ain't about to wow. throw no baby over. I'm scared to throw my grown ass right, right over right, the wall. Right, Let right, right. your baby. Right. So, Janobis winded up staying with her the whole doggone show. Really? Me and my brother jumped our butts over the wall and got us a good show. <laughs> and I remember we came back out. He was like, man, I've been out here taking care of this baby the whole time. That's craziness, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this, be high like yeah. so. You know, birthday bash is an institution, yeah. uh, not only for Atlanta but just for the South in general. Mm. Um, who was your favorite performance at birthday bash? If you could name it, just Ooh. like. Uh. Yeah. 
Ooh. But the one that rang true to me was during that Lakewood time, and that was that Pastor Troy we read it before. Mm. That was one of those. That was the masterpiece. Was that the masterpiece? That was the masterpiece, yeah, Pastor yeah, Troy yeah. time. That was a serious night. Uh, I remember the first time I think Jay Z might have performed at Phillips Arena back then. I remember you could I, feel I, the building shaking when he hit the stage. I was like, okay, mm. wait a minute, this wow. is real power. Wow. Uh, Kanye. This might have been at Lakewood, and this is one of my favorite stories to tell. It okay. was me and my other homeboy. We were interning at the time. Yep. And you know, as young men, you know you're tough. You know, you got some business about yourself, so right. you ain't starstruck about none of these stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. And uh, me and him were standing at the side of the stage, and then here comes Kanye. And my partner that was standing next to me, now we done seen everybody come through the stage. Fanned out. Kanye! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hell no! Now this was this Kanye. This was college dropout. That was college co- uh, yeah, dropout yeah, Kanye. Dropout, so yeah, I mean, yeah. he like, and then he gonna turn around and say, "That was Kanye, man." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, no, you done already gave it up. <laughs> right, right. So that right, was right. crazy. And I'm trying to think. Uh, Money bag, yo. Mm. At the uh, Georgia State. 21, the first year. Yo, yeah. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was one of my favorites all together. Yo, yeah. let me tell okay. you this. Let me tell you this. That money bag. First thing, that show itself. I always yeah. tell people like, yeah. you know, people are like, Gil, what's your favorite birthday bag? Yeah. It's my favorite because it meant, that probably meant the most. That was the first mm. concert in the entire country. Yeah. The first concert out of COVID was birthday bash. My in God. the entire country was birthday bash. And I remember Bag had been just killing it. Mm-hmm. And so when we got Bag on the show, I mean, that show was, I mean, Lil Baby was a headliner. Yeah. Thug and Gunner was, I mean, it was, that show was stacked. That show Crazy. was stacked. Yeah, that was our 25 years of, that was 25 years. That was our 25 year celebration because we had to cancel it the yeah. year before. But still to this day, when you ask majority of people, what was your favorite performance? They say, Money bag, yo. Yeah, he went out there and shut it down. He and I wasn't even down. expecting that, but yeah. he went out there and that crowd, I mean, we I thought I was in Memphis for a second. What? I said, yeah. I'm a Money Bag Yo fan right, too. And I right. remember when he first came in here because he was one of the early artists that I was interviewing mm. at the time too. Okay. So to see him have that kind of success yes. was crazy. Yep. But then the drama with Lil Baby when it started raining, mm. you know, it kind of added a little dramatic oh, feel to everything because oh, he's still going he's in still and going. it's raining outside. Bringing his son out there. <laughs> also, yeah. Lotto, I think that was her solidification. Too. It was. When she went out there and shut she it down, we it all out. knew that Lotto was a star. Yeah, right, right. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? There wasn't no yeah. question about that. Out yeah, there. no, that 25 was meant a lot to a lot of yeah. artists, man. And now now mm-hmm. that you say it, because I, I forgot Lotto hit that stage in the all red. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And she took it serious. <laughs> Come Dancers. On. Come on. And yeah, she let the she let the world know right then, yo, yeah. I'm here. I'm here. And it was one of the last performances from Archie, too, with that mm. we read. It was. Sure. Yeah, it was. That was one of his last sure. performances. You're right. You're right. You're right. I didn't even know you were there at that one, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. I was speaking about, you know, I come in there, do my one, two, and I get there. Say, what up, folks? <laughs> like, nothing, boy. I didn't even know you were there, man. Yeah, that was, that was, that was yeah. a good one. Yeah, yeah. That was a good one. That was a good one. That, uh, you know, Moneybags performance, and you and I have talked about this. I think that also kind of solidified him. To me now, this is you know a guy that I've seen since mixtapes and people were putting money behind him, and to see his music, his lyrics, and his personality his mercy, blossom, yeah. his mercy, his music, yeah, yeah. that mercy, <laughs> blossom, yeah, blossom, and to see him at Birthday Bash for a show that you know part of when I interviewed for this job, Gil, you know was yeah, hey man, if we hire you for this job, you got sixteen weeks put together to show what you're gonna do, right? And that was no part facts. of my interview, you yeah. know what I mean? So oh you know it was just really, a, but it was a, a full circle moment for me too to see Bag. On stage in that kind of audience, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know what? This guy's a superstar. Yeah, most you definitely. know what I mean. And it's come full circle for me because you know, from you know the early tape days, from you know, and he'll tell you, you know, he was wearing, you know, he's wearing fake ice and fake fake watch. <laughs> right, right, right. You know he's what I'm like saying? That sometimes. To yeah. uh, coming out, you know, super fit. Yeah, you know, had been killing it. Had Wakisha, had squ- uh, um, the other record. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, the record he came out. I, I can see the video now. Uh, the time today. You know, come on, time today. Mm-hmm. I can't did remember it, what it came out of time out to. Of I no, gotta go I back it was and watch the, it. Oh man, I can't remember. That I need to listen to it. I got the, the audio. energy. Yeah, it's yeah. so funny. All we see is clips. We don't even get to see the show. You oh know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you'd be too too busy back there working. Um, B, let me ask you. With this year, and you and I kind of talked off record about this last week. Um, mm-hmm. We had lunch. We were kind of talking about, and you were like, you know, I like what y'all are doing this year. I see the angle that y'all are taking. You were talking about Lotto a second ago. What does right. it mean for the city of Atlanta to have, in your perspective, on having? You know, one of the city's own Lotto. She's you know officially a superstar. Um, we had a great run of show 
call today and really the number of people and she has a team of like mm. 18 people yes. you know what yeah, i mean yeah, so yeah, yeah she got a machine so, behind her man but but yeah. what does it mean like for the city for Lotto to be able to headline, not just for her being from Atlanta, but to be the first woman ever to headline birthday bash. Well, it just goes to show how uh, progressive Hot 1079 is as a mm-hmm. brand at mm-hmm. the same time. Because, I mean, you're not going to get that no place else in the South or in the country sometime. Lotto being a homegrown person to be able to get it out of the mud and then get to the point to where she's headlining the show. Because, see, this is not true. Sh- she's just jumping out here headlining. Right, she right. had to prove herself. Exactly. Right. Over the years, Over we've the years. seen Lotto perform yep. and shut stuff down. Yep. So she earned it. It ain't no, we're doing it because it's uh, girls' time right, and we're right, trying right, to be right. cute around here. Exactly. She earned that position just yep. like anybody else who would be headlining. Yep. And then for her to be a local at the same time, that serves as an inspiration. Because, see, mm. when you go to these shows as local kids, Kids and just local folks growing up, you're seeing Lotto and you're like, okay, she went to my high school. She's from my neighborhood. Right. Yep. I can do that too. Yep. I can be that. You see what I'm saying? So to be able to see that, I mean, I think it's going to be inspirational. I think it's uh, moving the culture forward at the same time and it's going to be exciting because we know that she puts it down. Most she definitely. Down yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. yeah. Yo, I ain't going to lie, B.I., she got like 30 artists she brings. Oh out my God. Yeah. Oh no, my seriously. God. It's, I mean, this is the first yeah. podcast we've had since we announced the lineup, yo. Yeah. So yeah. you know what oh, I mean? Is like, it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. we can, you know, yeah. even to go through, you know, the lineup yeah. of people. Let me just let me just ask you, behind besides mm-hmm. Lotto, Ashley, you got Lotto and friends. When yeah. I mean friends, she's got I a mean, birthday bash got, inside of a birthday bash. Yeah, Woo! facts. Facts. She's got a birthday. Let like, me just say this. So I'm gonna say we had a, we had a slider for like 45 minutes. Mm-hmm. We probably got we got double that Dang. we got double her time because yes. she oh had that God. many that many and, friends are coming with her. So and one of the things, matter of fact, <laughs> twenty minutes ago we just went through this. Like we have our war council meeting room. We got yeah. like pictures on the wall of dressing rooms. I can mm-hmm. tell you now, every one of the dressing rooms at State Farm, mm-hmm. she is using for superstar talent, mm-hmm. and that's right. not cap. That's yeah. not cap. Not that's real, real talk. Oh that's, real, that's yeah. real talk. Yeah, that's a sight. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. The, <laughs> that's but a sight. She feels when she was up here and we made the announcement. We'll talk about that in a second. How yeah. she broke the internet that day. Um, exactly. Yeah. The twenty black suburbans and the, the live performance yeah. on top of the console come on, in come the on, studio. Come right, on, right, right. Is, you know she shut the door in my office and she said, "Listen, let me tell y'all something. Like, I know, I know, I have a point to prove, and I know people coming at me. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. She, she said knows. That. She knows. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so mm-hmm. she knows. She's like. You know, damn it, this is my time. Oh, it's going to be my time. Right. Come on, right. Come on Lotto. Everybody, yeah. And she said, everybody loves Lotto. In other words, everybody fucks with her. Everybody owes her a favor. Yeah. Ooh, you know what I'm definitely. saying? So mm-hmm. I'm, That's I'm, crazy. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. 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 That's pretty crazy. Let me yeah. run through the show real quick. Um, mm-hmm. Key Glock. <sighs> crazy. Yeah. yeah. You can't beat Key. Yeah. 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 Come on, man. Dolph Key. Ah. First of all, he's got the social media going crazy right Correct. now as well. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so all of his songs are going viral. Yep. I mean, he's a viral artist. Right. You can't lose with Glock. And yeah. you know, about Key Glock, like, he just shut down. Did you see, I don't know if you saw it, he did the, the mountain joint in, in Red Denver. Rock. The Red, Red Rock. Rock. Red Rock. Shut it down. That yeah. don't surprise By me. By himself. Yeah. That don't surprise me, though. Shut. He got the uh, music. Yeah. The music. Yeah. Shut oh, the music. Come on. He shut it down. So I'll run through it. I don't want to stop artist by artist. Okay. But, but let, let's just yo, let's just go through it real quick. You got Key Glock. You've got Boosie. You've got Killer Mike. What a year. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I, got, I don't want to stop artist by artist. But we got Boosie, bro. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you don't lose with Boosie. Yeah. Boosie's going to bring a crowd yeah. and a show. Yeah. And he got the Boosie workout, too, right, that he do right, on right, stage right, nowadays. Right, right. So yeah, I mean, no. We got to add the pause for Boosie, man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you got he got you got Boosie. You know what you yeah. get with Boosie. Yeah, we've been selling, seeing Boosie shows since they were him and Webby were running up and down the freeway with the scratch CD. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. Um, Killer Mike, what a year for him. You got yeah. Huncho. Yeah, Boss Mandingo never performed in Atlanta yet. Oh yep. my God. <laughs> you yeah. got T Grizzly, Rob Four Nine, Famous Sally and YB, Beat King. Yeah, we got a couple more things we're working on. I wish we could say it right now, but they're not official. Oh yeah, because yeah. we got. Oh yeah, you can't say it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and. <laughs> right. Um, uh, Oomp Camp Records and, yeah. And, yeah. and DJ Monte. Yeah, I and, love that tribute too yeah. as well because Oomp has put it down for this time. And that was going to be my next question. And he has not received his yeah. flowers. So yeah. to see that, that kind of warmed my heart when yeah. I saw that on mm. Instagram because I knew what that meant for the city as well mm. as them because Oomp, I mean, he's a silent assassin. Right. Okay, right. he was the one that really just 
crunk up a lot of this crunk stuff that you got going on in the streets. And as far as taking brothers out of the hood and putting them on the radio and yeah. dominating the club scene and all of that stuff, he did that. He had stores in the community where people worked at and stuff. So he wasn't just doing the music. He was employing people. Wow. Yeah. And uh, yeah. giving young brothers an opportunity to, mm -hmm. you know, express themselves. Man, so, I mean, dope. I got to salute that's him for dope, that man. because he hasn't been saluted for yeah, what man. he did as far as the independent game in Atlanta. No, and that's real, man, because I think one of the reasons why we we, you know, when me and Devin were kind of putting the show together, we were like, "Damn, we just came out fifty years of hip hop. Mm. What do you What do you do now?" And we didn't. Yeah, it, what yeah. do we do now? But oh nobody, nobody said Oomph's name. Yeah, for mm. everything that man done for this city, and fifty years of hip hop, you didn't see you. You, you know, you, it was so many yeah. celebrations, yeah. And concerts, yeah. and proclamations, and nobody said oomp. And we were like, you know what? Like, mm. why not Hot One Hundred Seven Nine? Come to, on, but, to go ahead and do that. But you to your point. Saying? Behind and then both of you, you know, it's almost that's a real Atlanta story. Yes. And everybody who's come I remember I remember when Hitman Sammy Sam and I remember when I remember when Kilo was on his promo run dropping off records of Pop Tunes in Whitehaven. Mm. I happened to be there that day when he was dropping off twelve inches. But when you talk to Oom, everybody that's come to the city, he has touched mm. every artist in some way, form, or yep. fashion. So when we first got together, we were like, all right, what do you want to do on your set? What's your list? Right. And I wish I could show it to you. <laughs> yeah. It was probably 60 artists on it. Yeah. And it's like, you know, two chains. Like it's all, you know, it's all these from A A to, you know, smaller artists, but it's like, bro, you know, that's gonna be a tough one. Right. Yeah. This is gonna Most be definitely. a tough one. But yeah. He has a real story of how he's helped or been a part of their story exactly. throughout their success in their career. And that's a, not a lot of people can say that. Yeah. DJ Monte is a diamond selling producer because of that. Yes. Home. Yeah. Yes. A diamond. And I don't think Monte get enough of his flowers either. Most definitely. How You're many right. people have sold, have a diamond selling record out there? Exactly. That puts him in rare air in itself right there. But the yeah. thing about Omp and Monte and them. See, in Atlanta, the problem has always been everybody's a celebrity, so you can't mm. tell nobody apart. <laughs> right, right, You see right. what I'm saying? So, right. I mean, you could be working at the shoe store, right. but if you got all the shoes and you selling them, you uh, shoe box shouting, yeah. everybody respects you for working that Foot Locker <laughs> and making sure everybody got the shoes. Right, 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 So, right. he thinking, he said, I don't care if y'all DJ Monte, I'm shoe box shouting. Yeah. So, I think that kind of, you know, happens when it comes to giving people the flowers that they deserve because gotcha. Monte is another one. Yeah. Diamond selling producer. Yeah. Right. Then, not to mention what he done did on the radio as a DJ exactly. on top of breaking records yep. and making records. Yep. So, yep. Walk It Out, I mean, that thing was an independent record that went major. Most definitely. Through um, and they did it from the mud. So, yeah. I mean, those stories, I'm just proud to be able to see them get their flowers mm. in their hometown. Love like it, they yeah. deserve yes. Because they deserve it, man. Yeah. They, yeah. they, they stat sheet is just like everybody else's. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You know, mm. the cool thing is to hear the stories, you know, talking to Oom. I've known Oom for 25 years, you know, mm. from from afar. We've come across yeah. each other, obviously, from all the independent records he's, he's put out and being right in the backyard. But, you know, to sit down and we were having those conversations. But, you know, he started like a lot of guys did in, in the early 90s when, you know, that one guy had that studio mm. and that one engineer. Oh, man, my cousin raps. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you, you come yeah. through. You know, there's yeah. a lot of those situations and a lot of those stories. But a lot of those, you know what I'm saying, people that have come through, that studio and his operation have are superstars. You know what I'm saying? Which is amazing. And to your point, it feels good to know that it means so much to the city of Atlanta. I think we're gonna yeah. do something visually that people love because, you know, people would stop by there weekly to buy mixtapes. Exactly. Or, or blend tapes or whatever it was. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. When they wanted to buy, you know, a new oomp tape, they would go there. And the thing is he's still at the flea market. Yep. You know yeah. What I'm saying? Yeah. Like, still putting like, it down. Yeah. 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 Come on. Still put it down. And shout out to Oomp. You know, they're about to open a restaurant, too. They're about to open a burger spot, too. Oh, really? You know okay. What I'm yeah. so. Let me ask you this, Beehive. I always What's ask up? this question to any person we have in here. And you, you might not remember. Well, what was the biggest roar you heard? Like, you were on the stage or back of the stage or just at Birthday Bash, and you had to say, wow. That was the Jay-Z roar. That was the Jay-Z. Yeah, that was Jay-Z. When Jay-Z hit the stage at yeah. State Farm, that's when mm. all hell broke loose. It was like, you could feel the building <laughs> shaking. That, they were like, that well, Jeezy brought him out? It had to be. I think it, was it had to be yeah. because mm -hmm. I mean, because I don't think Jay Z has ever been on the by himself. Uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It had now. to be the year so Jeezy brought him. Yeah, he hit that stage, and I mean, all you it's like, let me get up here and see what the hell's going on right, up right, there right, because right, I can right, hear right. it all the way back here in the dressing room. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So that that was a Jay Z thing. Right yeah. There. Yeah. I yeah. love it. That's that's dope, man. We that's may super dope. we may break that record this year though. Ooh. We may. It may. We may. Because I told Devin. So my biggest role was. You were there. It was the late wood. That was the year State Farm was being renovated. Mm. 
And remember, we had to go back to Lakewood. Yeah. And it was the year that we had Migos. So the story, I'll tell you the story. We'll, we'll say it on the podcast. Yeah. So Migos was doing, the program director at the time said, if you do the other station show, you mm. can't do our show. <laughs> so, all right. So everybody that they had on the other station show, they it was okay. But yeah. by the time birthday bands come, them same artists are now out of this world. Exactly. And Migos was one of them. So he was like, Man, I gotta let Migos perform. <laughs> so Migos perform, but also Offset is with Cardi. Yeah. And Cardi is pregnant. Mm. And this is what's Cardi's first record. This was uh Bodak Yellow. Bodak, Bodak Yellow yeah. Cardi. Like yeah. she owned the world, but she pregnant, right? Yeah. So she comes with Migos and they do that record, uh uh, Bad and bougie. No, no, they do the record that that she's on with the Migos. Um, Motorsport. Motorsport. Mm. And she comes out there in a white floral dress, pregnant. I'm in the back trying to get. I'm trying to get uh, Thug because Thug and they were performing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get them in. I've never heard Lakewood like that ever, bro. It was the biggest roar I've ever heard in mm. my life. My God. And it was like. That one I was like, damn, this Cardi, Cardi here to stay. Exactly. She here to stay. Like, <laughs> like they were happy about the Migos. Yeah. yeah. No, they were happy about Cardi. Cardi, yeah. So there was a, yes. you know, Cardi's one of those artists too that around that time, right after that, you know, there was it's kind of we were talking about Drake mm-hmm. and how many people he was signed to, the whole, you know, right, I mean, right, right, right. Cash money thing. But Cardi was one of those situations where, you know, Cardi had a manager originally, mm-hmm. mixtape Cardi, uh, Social media Cardi, you know what I'm saying? Yep. TV Cardi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And everybody was booking it for 7500 Yep. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Strip club Cardi. Yeah. It, it might have been a little bit more than that. Don't You know what I mean? But right. the early. And yeah. everybody was like, hey, that price that price gone in a month. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> you better get it now. <laughs> yeah. You better get it now. Yes, today ain't today. Right. When that, cutoff, exactly. when that cutoff point hit. Yeah. Inflation hit <laughs> like a man. <laughs> it went down. It ain't went down either. <laughs> Inflation <laughs> hit. Not went down. And it is not. It is not gone down. To right, your point. Right. You know no, what I mean. Have. I, but I remember seeing that video. And that's a, such a cool thing. All these moments, you know, I yeah. saw from afar on social. And I was just yeah. like, damn. Yeah. 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 She and was, she was on stage in a dress. In bro. a dress. Yeah. Like, Pregnant. Yeah. Eight months. Because remember, they had already told her you can't perform anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But she came out there, pregnant in heels. <laughs> <laughs> and put on the show. And put on the show. Come on, did, man. Did, did her verse in that thing. And then he had to finish the verse because every woman in that arena sang it with him. Went word for word. I was like, oh yeah. my God. It's those moments that I'm like, that's why I keep putting on birthday. Yeah, that's, that's what we're doing for. That. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. always look for that moment. Yeah. It's gonna be, you know, um Lotto has done something a little bit different. Every year, you know, birthday bash, one of the biggest things we have our wrap up meeting. We say, hey, how can it get evolve next year? What are we gonna do next year for it to evolve? Like everything was very female heavy. Last year, you know what I mean. It was very a very very raunchy show. Yeah, uh, and, and no 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 disrespect, you know what I mean. Yeah. It was just a lot of raunchy records out last yeah. summer. It you was. know what I mean. <laughs> we had the first show where Sexy Red had her coming to age on stage. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Was yeah. big and yeah. he brought about. Now she's a superstar. Exactly. Yeah, she's getting a quarter of a million dollars for shows now. Yeah, you know Crazy. what I mean. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, stays, yeah. stays booked up. Shout out to J ones. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying and. um you know, so we, we it always tries to evolve, and that's one of the things that, that we talk about is like, what did we do? Did it did it provide something different for people when they come to the show? And then we try to, you know, this year we've got a lot of great sponsors. We got some movies that are involved. We got yeah. some actors and actresses, some other mm. things that are involved. We got some big, huge networks that are involved doing Most some definitely. stuff with us, yeah. doing some cool stuff. But one of the things that I think <clears throat> we're proud about, and I think it's safe we can go ahead and say something about this though. But we wanted to do something. Um, that basically, um, you know, solidified and basically amplified Rico Wade mm. and what his life and what his legacy meant. Yeah, you know, to Atlanta exactly, and you know what, you know, his hard work and what he did, and the you know how he opened doors for everybody here. So yeah. we've yeah. come up with something this year mm. that we're going to do this year that's yeah. a little bit different. That's yeah, be crazy. You know what I mean? That's so, going to be a uh, watering eye moment, fellas. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> yeah, no, I already yeah, yeah. know that? what that's going to do. Because, yeah. I mean, yeah. Rico meant so much to the city. I mean, we wouldn't be here right now no, if facts. he didn't do yeah. what he did. No facts. That's just the bottom line. And I don't right. think, you know, I hate to bring it back to me, fellas. Right. But uh, 
that was one of the reasons why I started doing the podcast the mm. way that I did it. Mm. Because those stories needed to be told so For people sure. could understand. If if Rico Wade was sitting right here, folks need to know who that is right. sitting yeah. right there. Exactly. The same way, I mean, you know, if that was Andrew Young sitting right there, right. you know who That's he right. is. Exactly. Right. Yeah. That exactly. was from 30 years prior to Rico Wade doing right. what he was doing. That's so, right. I mean, those legacies have to be told and carried on so folks can understand, so they can be inspired and understand what it is that they can achieve. Because yeah. Rico came from the mud. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. They yeah, you're created right. You're right. the biggest rap group of all, of all time. time. Of, of just one artist like, you know what, we need to get them on that stage. Cause me and Devin had this conversation, I think our last podcast. And, and the other thing is like that artist could also be living or not here anymore. Yeah. Who would that artist like, who be? Did, who, oh, who well, if they if we going that way, then this Pimp C, Tupac, okay. you know that I'm going there. Well, that was easy. That was easy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Thank you, Devin. We got Tupac. You got out of that corner. Yeah, yeah. Let's not do that. Okay. Yeah, we know Tupac. Yeah. I mean, them hot boys. Mm. That'd be another one of those monumental moments. I mean, you get them hot boys reunited on the birthday bash stage, it would only seem right to me. To wow. be honest with you. you see yeah. what I'm saying? So, Man, you know, okay. after, after they okay. did, so what's going to happen this year? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to do a little foreshadowing, okay? Mm. It's the beginning of May. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Yeah. After they do Essence, yep. mm. you're going to see, like, we know how hot all these 80s and 90s R&B artists have been. Right. And yeah. the right. hip-hop yeah. artists, too, right? Yeah. Yep. So a Baby and Slim and them can hold it all together. You're about to see... A resurgence of a lot of stuff, not whole cash money era. Yeah, yep. you know what I, I mean. Yeah. Like them being on birthday bash is very doable for next yeah, year. Most oh yeah, most you know definitely. What I'm oh yeah, most definitely. That's yeah. gonna be crazy. Yeah. but that's just the direction that hip hop is going in the same yeah. realm. It, it really is. is. You know, a lot of my students when I would ask them, I say, "Okay, what are y'all listening to?" Yeah, mm. they'd be like, "I'm listening to the old school hip hop. Mm -hmm. I'm listening to the old school R and B." And I'm right. like, "Wait a minute, now you ain't nothing but 19 years old. What right, you know right, about right. this?" Right. But they were like, "That is the music that resonates with me and sounds good to me sonically." Mm. Yep. yep. So I mean, when you're thinking about Killer Mike, he made an old school album in a new school age. Facts. Yeah. It was sonically good. He yep. was snapping, right. and it would, had all of the elements that a great album needed, and he got the rewards for that. So a big, right. a lot of the difference sonically is nowadays is, and I'm gonna, I'm, this is gonna hit it. This is uh -huh. this is gonna come full circle, all right? <laughs> A lot of the music's being made now is all being made with the same equipment and the same software. That's yeah, true too. No, it's definitely back then. You had Manny Fresh on the SB twelve hundred. It was yep. a Manny Fresh sound. Shout out yep. to Jazzy Faye. Jazzy Faye had a certain Jazzy. sound yep. with, with with live bass lines, and, and still to this day, you yep. know what I'm saying. So when somebody comes along and does something completely different, mm -hmm. like listen sonically, what's out right now? What's one of the number one songs? Metro and Future. It's Roddy and Joe Cooley. Everlasting yeah. bass. Right, right, yeah. right. It's, yeah. it's looped, and they fucked with it. Yeah, a, a couple, a couple right. of bars. You right. know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everything's being resampled. What last year they were they were flipping cash money. They redid exactly. 400 degrees. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like Ooh. everything now is being recycled from 99, 2000, 2001, 2005 yeah. up in there, and yeah. it's yeah. only going to keep going because sonically hip hop was so different then. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Even yeah. when Travis Scott flipped that uh, cell there, mm. that oh, was a yeah, crazy you know. flip exactly. as well. That was, exactly. you know. That but was. I'm loving that we're getting to the point to where that kind of music is being sampled now because it also re-energizes the culture mm -hmm. and also gives folks a better direction on what it is they need to do because sometimes exactly. I'm hearing stuff that they ain't jamming and it's right, like, okay right, right, now, right, right. Exactly. get in the studio and jam. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. if you go in there, you say, okay, I saw what Rico Wade them jam for 10 million records on this, let me redo this, right. then at least we know we can relate to it when right. we hear. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Uh, you know, I love asking these these questions, uh -huh. right? Do you prefer birthday bash inside or birthday bash outside? Mm. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, State Farm has always been crazy. It was when folks went from Lakewood to State Farm. That was the first time you got that arena feeling. Mm. But then we went from State Farm to Georgia State. Mm -hmm. So then that's a different <laughs> ball game there. Because right. when you go out there on stage at Georgia State, which used to be turn of field for those who yeah. don't know, right. it's crazy. You're, right. yeah. You're like, right. wait a right. minute, we in the middle of this big ass brave old, you see what right. I'm saying? Right. Right. It's crazy. So yeah. Murphy shit. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So you Fred going down. Right. <laughs> exactly, sit free. Fred. Don't go down with me. Stood right here. Exactly. Right, 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 so right. to go out there, I was, that was my favorite birthday man. Mm. Which one? With you. Uh, the one Georgia at State? South State. Yeah. Oh, 25. Because that was the biggest one. Yeah, that was yeah, the biggest, yeah, was the biggest one. one. Yeah. So to be there at that one, it was like, okay, this is, you saw the full progress. It was a full circle moment. Wow. Yeah. From wow, the tabernacle yeah. to this big ass stadium. It, wow. didn't get, it didn't get no bigger than that. You're right. Mm -hmm. So, exactly. I mean, that outside feeling gives you that, um, 
family mm -hmm. reunion cookout feel. Mm -hmm. Right. But the inside, I mean, shoot, we ain't got to worry about it being rained out. So right. I mean, there you go. Ain't nobody there got time to be getting rained right. out either. Yeah. There you go. You there know, you go. So, there you I go. mean, I'm 50-50. Wherever the uh, corn lands, that's where I'm at. I'll tell you a funny-ass story. Gil knows the story, but mm -hmm. that year, um, 21, um, uh, birthday bash 25, mm -hmm. Right when it was about to start raining, you know, my boss texts me and he came front of the house. I'm like, man, what, the, what do you want, man? You're right. And he goes, it's about to rain. It's ass off in eight minutes. <laughs> and he said, we got to get little baby on stage. If not, it's going to be ugly. Ooh. Yeah. And he showed me the radar and texted to me. Yeah. And he texted and I go, he's going on in a minute. But it was crazy because everybody says this story, even where I was parallel with the stands, I'm a yeah. hundred 50 feet from y'all, you know right, what I mean? Right. To see everybody, when little Baby hit the stage, run back to the front. Right, yeah. exactly. Was yeah. Crazy. And then the videos with the lights hitting the rain. And, it hit, yeah. and he had that, that he had that, that the drama. He had Come the, on. The blue plastic outfit yeah, on. That, it was, yeah, it was. <laughs> it was like, yeah. You got to be, that's some rock star shit. Yeah, right. yeah, it was right, just right, a right. dramatic yeah. moment. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, my God. And it's crazy. I tell people, people don't understand, like, one of the reasons, too, why we moved inside, of course, we went back to the state farm. It was hot as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it That's was real. Hot. That's real. Yeah. It was hot. And people don't know when you put on a festival, especially an outside festival, yeah. you got to get this thing called mm -hmm. weather insurance. Yeah. Yeah. They, they Weather insurance will work you. You know what I'm saying? So, but uh, the biggest reason why is people don't understand, you can kind of speak on it, how Birthday Bash affects the economy of Atlanta. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. So the last year we did it at Georgia State. We had representatives from Lenny Small come up to us mm. and say, hey, are y'all thinking about moving Birthday Bash back inside? Mm -hmm. and I said, I don't know. We haven't even had that conversation. We just wrapped this one up. And this one was crazy. This one, this one, Kodak got locked up. Yeah. Gunner got locked up. <laughs> Thug got locked up. We were like, yo, we just glad we got through. <laughs> <laughs> and they came in and they had this conversation with us. And I'm like, and they were like, well, if we had a vote, we would love for y'all to go back inside. And I, we, we asked like, why? And they were like, the way you all birthday bash affects the economy, mm -hmm. affects the Atlanta economy. We're over ten million dollars in revenue when you do birthday bash be inside because everybody's coming to Lenox to mm -hmm. get their shit to put fit. on. Oh my god! And I, we didn't even realize we were like, mm -hmm. man, we didn't even think about how real. that how birthday That's bash real. affects the greater yeah. Atlanta. Exactly. The thinking of Atlanta. Hey, I gotta get. I got to get my car washed. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got to get my outfit. We're going to get a room downtown. We got to get a room downtown. Exactly. Uber, you know Lyft, yeah. everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Restaurant. Right, yeah. exactly. Well, you know what makes a, a difference, too? And I, I love because birthday bash time of year. And if you own retail, you're really smart. Or you're in charge of the advertising check because people go, come get your Atlanta gear. Get yeah. your get your fit ready for birthday bash. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Come through. Oh, and I love to hear that because, yeah. Yeah. because yeah. they're paying attention to what's going on. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, exactly. it's, it's, it's crazy, though, man. What? what the institution of it. Exactly. You know what what about the marketing dollars that get spent from all of the different mm -hmm. artists that are trying to get on the back of a van? They got a ball yeah. oh, you, team you, you are. <laughs> picking it yeah. outside Listen. of birthday man, look at my record and all of this extra stuff. Yeah. Most definitely. Come on, Most man. Definitely. Money's getting spent. It's definitely getting spent. Definitely getting spent. So I like uh, people ask that question. And so that's why yeah. one of the reasons why we did it. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. You know, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And, and we're trying to make it, you know, more of a weekend. I know, you know, before there was the block party. Mm -hmm. Which is dope, but now we do who's hot the night before. This year it's a domain. We okay. moved it from believe to domain. Shout yeah. out to domain. That's a beautiful space too. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, we're trying to expand it. I think we may do a private dinner the night before on okay. Thursday. You know, yeah. you would definitely be invited, Beehive. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know I mean? most I'll definitely. Be there going at yeah. some kind food. Of, I'm talking about thing. open bar, Beehive. Woo! <laughs> flowing. No, I'm here for that. I'm <laughs> here for flowing. that. And then we added the brunch on Sunday. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we do the bash Absolutely. and brunch. But I just I think, did a walk through the other day. So yeah, yeah that's gonna be it's gonna be a vibe. Okay. But I think eventually when we talked about. I mean, we'd love to do a trying to expand it to like a two day festival. Yeah, we do, do all R and B yeah. one day, all R and B one day, and do hip hop the next yeah. day. Yeah, I mean R and B is king right now. Yeah, you dog on R and B is king right Come now. Come on, man! And I, I was, you know, I was telling Devin, I feel like we that's we we missing out on that. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. a lot of Atlanta is at R and B. I mean, let's think about it. This is the city of Jermaine Dupri. Well, what about the Wednesday wind downs across the street? Remember, used to remember, have yeah. remember those? You know, doing yeah. the R and B over there. That yeah. would get yeah, yeah, sold yeah, out yeah. real fast. Real fast. Part. So yeah, we wanna we wanna hopefully next year incorporate an R&B show That'd be crazy. that that makes sure that the audience gets everything they want. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You can get one, 
Or you can get both. That's exactly. right. You know what I'm saying? But we want to definitely, you know, move into that. You know I'm what I'm saying? You. Yeah. Just get this weekend wristband ticket. Right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but that's what it's about. You know, I yeah. don't know if you've been to Essence. I don't, you know, yeah. Gil and I have talked about, you know, Essence and you know, Essence Q's a little bit older. And it is a it is a weekend festival, mm-hmm. Essence being the magazine, but you look at all the activations, everything yeah. from yeah. you know, BD and Hair Care to, you know, Carol's daughter, everybody's down there. Coca-Cola, McDonald's has been huge, there's a lot attached to it, but it's yeah, like right. Atlanta's ready for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shout out to Mo and um Jay Carter and One Music Fest and what they yeah, do. But yeah. I think this will be My something definitely. a little bit different. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I think it will be different being all indoors and just being kind of an all inclusive type. Come on. You know what I mean? Yeah. A, event. And R and B is king, even from everybody just coming out of Atlanta, like money long. Has been on fire, man. Right, you know, yeah. exactly. Like to your yeah. point, shout yeah. out to Jermaine Dupree. You got. Man, I will tell somebody. I was, like, I was like, yo, we could put together an R and B show, and we won't have to leave at the Metro. No, <laughs> like no, literally, <laughs> like literally. Facts. I ain't got to pay for no flights. Exactly. I ain't got to pay for no hotel. I could just be like, yo, Jermaine Dupree, yo, Jagged Edge, yo, One Twelve, mm-hmm. yo, Tamar Braxton, Escape, yo, Escape. Come on, Money Long, keep going, Summer Walker, Summer Walker, mm. like. Just in the metro, Ari. yeah, Ari, Ari. come oh, on, man. just yeah, behind. just <laughs> in the metro. We got uh, our R and B show would kill Jay any R and B show. Because, yeah. Well, y'all better hope that he don't hear this conversation. Right, 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 right. Trying to feed right. you to the butt. He gonna hear it. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna hear it. You know what I'm saying? So, no, nah, he seriously. always cooking up something. <laughs> right, man, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. What's um, you know, what's thing? You know, your vision, and you've been a part of it, and. You know, you're so well respected. I mean, if anything could change about birthday badge, you would do something different. And I mean, it could be good, bad, ugly, and different. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, what would you do? What have you seen? And you go, you know what? That needs to be a part of birthday bash. Like, what would y'all do? Well, I'm gonna just be real. Yeah, when be I real. speak about that uh, Panther Stadium one, mm-hmm. I saw everything that you could possibly do at that damn show. <laughs> right. I saw the old school performing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Archie performed this. Like, see, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. When Archie dies, you can sleep good at night knowing that mm. I put him on that birthday bash stage and mm. I gave him his flowers that's right. before he passed. You sure wow. did. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah, he was on that good. birthday bash day. Yeah, yeah. So I saw that. Wow. I saw all of the hottest new artists. Yeah. I saw the in-between artists. I saw everything I needed to see. Wow. So really, you just got to duplicate that all over again every dog yeah. on here. Yeah, right. I right. think if we could go back to it, I think, and I, every time I see one of those pictures, I cringe because there were over 20,000 people at that show. Yeah. But that's yeah. a big stadium. And the way we had to set it up. The floor. That, the floor. Yeah. That uh, stage that yeah. stage was like a transformer. That's one of the Coachella stages oh. that yep. we had. Yep. So we borrowed it for a couple of days. The build out took them two days. Two days. Two, days, two three days. No, 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 no. It was it was a week. Yeah, yeah. It was there a week. Know. But if we could have angled it and done something like you can't use the whole field because it's not watch stacks. You know yeah. what I'm yeah. saying? It's not yeah. it's not rolling loud. You know what I mean? You want people to try to be as up close and personal as possible. So you would have to do something with the floor mm. yeah. because when I look up and you got people even in the 200 section, but there's only 6,000 people on the, on, on the, the field, field, it yeah. looked a little awkward yeah. okay. because yeah. you had some space on both sides. Right. Mm. For right. the visual, it looked yeah. awkward. But yeah. when you walked out in the crowd, it was, I felt that energy. That yeah. runway, that runway was 90 feet. Yeah. 90 feet. Yeah. 90 feet. Yeah. That was the real deal. That yeah. was the real deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But to Gil's point, it was hot as fuck. Yeah, it was yeah. no, we was passing it was out. So no. I died. So yeah. if you go back and you look yeah. at pictures, or you at that birthday bash, you have to, you know, shout out to Georgia State. They got a beautiful field. They yeah. put a lot yeah. of money back into their facility. You know, shouts out to us for helping them fund that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn. But, yeah. But we actually had to rent yeah. the plastic panels. Yeah. Those are panels those, that go yeah. on those the field. Those from the uh, Mercedes Benz. Yeah, uh, from Mercedes. So the flooring. Yeah, and I will say the number. Yeah, it costs us a hundred thousand dollars just to put the flooring down. Yeah. To just protect to, the field. Just Ooh. to protect the field. And that white, it's like people that go snow skiing in the mountains. Yeah. The yeah, sun yeah, reflects. Yeah. That sun and that heat so was nice reflecting off that post. white. Yeah. Man, we were, we, we were baking. Bacon. Man, that <laughs> was a, a Kroger rotisserie chicken. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We were baking. Man, we were baking. Yeah. That's crazy. Because yeah. Yeah, yeah. turf absorbs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that plastic... It just br- pops right back it up. It just pops right My back up. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So. No, nah, that was the one for me. That was everybody the one. was involved. Yo, that's everybody so was dope. involved. Hey, that's so dope to hear you say that, B, because you've yeah. done so many of them. Yeah. And I didn't know you were at 25. Yeah. And 25, I always say, is, is my favorite. Yeah. Just because of what it meant for the world, not yeah. just for Atlanta. But for hear you say that, because that was one, that was a lot of work. Not that only are you talking work. about coming out the, after COVID, well, honestly, coming during COVID. Yeah. But, you're talking about new venue. So you're yeah. talking about security that have never done birthday bash before. The venue that has never done birthday bash before. You're talking about a state institution yeah. that doesn't actually don't sell alcohol Ooh. 
in the stadium. Yeah. So how do we how do we get past that? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about they only got two locker rooms. <laughs> Home so we, and away. We were making, <laughs> what are you doing? We're making, we're what are making you doing dressing rooms. We're making yeah. dressing rooms. Yeah. yeah, we had to make like oh my God. it's a lot of stuff people have no idea. And that's why this podcast we're doing this podcast. Yeah, yeah. People just don't understand like the different things <laughs> we gotta do. Like, yeah. you know. It's so far between stage and dressing room. Yeah. Damn, I, I'm, I'm going to have to go ahead and rent 25 golf carts. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I can't have the artists go from trailer to dressing room or they're going to be wore out. They exactly. literally just did 100. They literally <laughs> just ran from end zone to end zone. So we you made that, and we made that mistake yeah. the first year we had <laughs> yeah. golf carts. Yeah. And it's a quarter mile between the dressing rooms. Like, damn it, where thug and gunner? <laughs> yeah. He's waiting on his mama. Real story. Yeah. Yeah. True story. Yeah. Facts. Yep. He's waiting on his mama. Like, So the downtime is not. 30, 40 feet, right. it's a quarter of a mile on a golf cart. Yeah. Right. So then when we went back, we did 15 passenger vans. Yeah. So we learned. you got vans <laughs> yep. on the inside of the concourse just rolling on. Just rolling. They just go like, they don't stop. Like, the only like, time they stop is like to pick you up. It's just going. We, we did, so we created, <laughs> yeah, we literally created our own Marta station. In the tunnels of Georgia State, man, that's like, crazy. Oh, we had to get the, we got to get there to the stage, yeah. man. You know, yeah, what I'm had saying? to get creative in that yeah, thing, man. Def- most definitely. I'm glad yeah. I didn't have to do none of that extra stuff behind the scenes. Man, uh, that's, man. Too much, that's where the real work is. Yeah, know, yeah, man. It's, it's yeah. called the shit that keeps you up at night. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. 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 It's like, damn, man, what the hell? I think somebody stole some jerseys that year. Oh, yeah, because I didn't have my name on my jersey. I just had a lot of Hulk jerseys with. 21 on it. Right, 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 right. They stole jerseys. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, a whole box. Like, yeah. Hershey didn't get a jersey. Yeah. It was a bunch of people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, you yeah. gave me yeah. a regular one. Yeah. I was like, who the hell? Oh, right, I'm with my B hat jersey. What year was that? The one, it was the Red Hawks jersey. 21. That's the one I'm talking 21. about. That was 21. The, the yeah. Spud yeah, 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 yeah. They stole it. Yeah. A whole I box still ain't found them. Damn, damn. I ain't seen them on the street because I'm going to take it off that nigga. Yeah, you see him on the street. Yeah, bro. Hey, bro, that's a, where you get that birthday bad jersey from? That's an exclusive. Speaking of the jerseys, you know, that's something that the last few years that we've, we've, Taking the game up, and we always, you know, we start kicking around these ideas because, I mean, we love the fashion of this shit. It's summertime, it's Atlanta. We always, in, we like the sports tie in, sports yeah. music, cultural lifestyle, you know, but the jersey this year is so sick. Oh my God. It is so sick. So I'm going to so show it to him because it's a podcast. This is <laughs> audio, you know what I'm saying? Well, no, time. the camera's right there. So <laughs> not, and, not, and the soccer jersey last year, I love it because I designed it. You know, the, you know we designed it together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. That's the real deal, too. Oh, yeah, 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 it's yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> real. We, we, we hired somebody. <laughs> that's. <laughs> to really do this thing, you know, yeah. he's, a, he's a real designer. Exactly. Does it for a living. Yeah, yeah, it's a real designer. Real good, yeah. man. Yeah. That's yeah. powerful. Yeah. So yeah, we're going all in this year, man. Yeah, we're gonna I have a good time, man. Yeah. So yeah. be how we need you there this year, man. We need you, you know, there. I'm yeah. willing to pull up, man. Just let me know the date and time. I'm always. Well, there. I can tell you, June 22nd, 7 p.m. <laughs> Go to the bad stage and say, yo, Gil told me to come. We'll exactly. get you in there. Right? Nah, I'll be there. We're going to have you there in some capacity, man. Man, yeah. I appreciate you hanging out with us. This has been fun, man. Yeah, I'm always had a good time. Y'all know I'm down. always down for a good conversation right. uh, now. Uh, we already know. Is that- <laughs> we know. We can, we can look at the hundreds of thousands of uh, views you get. We know you're down for a good combo. <laughs> we already know. What's the um? Let, let me plug your podcast real quick and then talk about it. I know, you know, the funny thing is, is real conversation we had with somebody in the building earlier. It's like, yeah. you got to come check in. I was like, MC8. Was here. He got to come check in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bun B is in the city. He goes checks in with me. Yeah. Like you yeah. get all the interviews with every single body, man. Tell us about the podcast real quick, man. Okay. Put the, Basically, put the plug you it, know, man. it's from my uh, perspective. Atlanta hip hop culture. You know, it's going down in the south for the most part, but mm-hmm. I don't discriminate. Like you said, we'll get MC8 in there from the West Coast to yeah. talk about some West Coast stuff in there. We'll go ahead and get some New York folks in there too. Yeah. From uh, I like to debate with my other podcast partner, Choke No Joke, because he's a staunch New York guy. So I have yeah. to cuss him out about We got into it about the Dungeon Family and the Wu-Tang Clan So in the, we go everywhere with the podcast It might just be conversations yeah. Just talking about what's going on in the culture For culture conversations mm-hmm. Or it could be hip-hop debates You know, yeah. Dungeon Family versus the Wu-Tang Clan Who had the better catalog right. who had the better uh, team mm-hmm. uh, Then just flat out one-on-one interviews Or group interviews as well And just yeah. discussions all together We get into everything that's going on in the culture And we just have a good time It's just like family getting together Just like what we just yeah, did yeah, right I here yeah. I'm about to put you on spot, B.I. Come on What's your best interview you had? Bun B Oh, there you go, easy Yeah, but somebody yeah. quotable so yeah. Yeah, 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 that bun It yeah. went viral so many different times too It might have wow. did 5 million on Instagram 10 million on uh, TikTok okay. The wealth Instagram kept on picking it up every 5 minutes Because wow. we talked about Jay-Z and the money And the wealth yeah, yeah, yeah. of mine and all that stuff yeah. Yeah. But for me 
I've always been a UGK fan. Gotcha. And especially a Bun B fan. Gotcha. So when Bun came in there, I was ready for work. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. You see gotcha. what I'm saying? When yeah. the Bun came in, I said, oh, we about to have this conversation. You were show, you, you show prepped. Oh, yeah, yeah I was so prepped. Let me ask you this, though. How did, how did you get that interview? I reached out. Just that simple. Mm. Yeah, he was yeah. coming into the city. I said, hey, man, you coming into the city? Yeah. You need to come over here. Right. Who's the one interview that you haven't been able to get that you really want to get? It was the Rico Wade interview. Wow. Oh, damn. And I had been on Orlando's back for years. Mm. But you know how the OGs do. They love to tie stuff in to yeah. roll outs and yeah, everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, yeah, they yeah. knew if I would have got a hold of them, I'm about to blow everything. Because we're going to talk about it all when right. I get you in there, Rico. Right. So they're like, no, nah, yeah. B, we going to do it when we roll out this project. Right. Yeah. And they're like, okay, we, I'll wait until that project. Right, right. And uh, we never got a chance to do it. But that was the one that I just really. Wow. That's mm. the one I needed for myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. like I said, that house on Adams Drive you were just talking about, mm -hmm. my uncle stayed on the street across from that on Cascade. Okay. And that was the address that I used to be able to go to Maze High. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you gotcha. see what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's yeah. how I was able to go to Maze. Hey, he yeah. told on himself. Yeah, exactly. Right, 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 right. So, <laughs> I looked up and I said, my, You're going to send your report card now. You exactly. Know? Right, right. Right. My mama would come and pick us up and we would leave from Cascade going back towards Compton Road and we would ride down Adams Drive every day. Gotcha. So, we used to ride past that house every day like, oh, man, this house is just nice. Yeah. Yeah. This house, Hank Aaron still, right. still here. Still here. It's crazy. Yeah. But then one day I'm watching Rap City and yeah, I see yeah, them yeah. at the dungeon and I'm like, wait a minute. That's, That's that white house on the street for wow. me. Yeah. Dang. Man. So that was just amazing. That's right dope, man. Me, you know, yeah. So that, with that being said, and I was a child at that time, so we were talking about like 93 or something like that, Southern Player List. Yeah. I'm 10 years old at the time. Yeah. Gotcha. So I was, that was the first CD that I ever bought in my whole life was mm. Outcast Southern Player List wow. music. I took really? my first little allowance money, yeah. went to the uh, Peppermint at Green Bride, picked mm -hmm. that thing up, yep. and it changed my life from that point on. So I gotcha. was just a fan, and yeah. I was studying them the whole time. Yeah. But Rico had always stuck out to me even more so than the artist. Mm. Because it was like, how did you get all of these folks together? together Just like yeah. you were saying, yeah. you, it was a miracle. Yeah. How do you get all of these guys from the hood to get together for a common goal and then also push unity, prosperity, and positivity at mm -hmm. the same time? Wow. And yeah. community. So, yeah. you know, that was the one interview I was, I would have been prepped for that one, like that Bun B interview. Gotcha. I yeah. Been yeah. My ass yeah. On. yeah. 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 That Outcast, uh, Outcast is an interesting chronology of Atlanta too. The things they were talking about, talking about red dogs and jump and grab yeah. and shit, and all the stuff going on as they were moving people to the suburbs and gentrification, getting ready for the Olympics, yeah, and everything yeah. tied together chronologically exactly. between you know the albums and the music, man. Crazy. Where can they find your podcast? Um, put it out there. Be high ATL. Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, any kind of social media. Be yeah. high ATL. That's where you find me. All right. That's Be what's up, high man. ATL. Yeah. L. Yeah, man. My brother. Hey, appreciate man, you. Man, I appreciate you coming on. Oh, well, man, I'm here yes, for sir. it every time, yes, man. Legendary. June 22nd, birthday bash, State Farm Arena, man. It is going down. And, and listen, I'm going to tell y'all, Gil can tell you, Gil, what time they need to get there for this show? Listen, Atlanta, <laughs> I know y'all love to get the show around 9, 930. I'm telling you now, if you're not, doors open at 6, the show starts at 7. If you're not in your seat, by 7.45, you're going to miss somebody you want to see. Yeah, that's great. That show is so packed. We have to be on time. Yes. Yeah. And we have artists on top of artists on top of artists. So y'all going to hear this message all over the air. You better get there. Yes. You better get there early. Don't do the Atlanta thing and get there at 9.30 and be like, man, I miss my... Hey, we told you. <laughs> and, and listen... <laughs> We're not. We're to the point. We're over the, the 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 cap stage. Like people are coming to birthday bash. Believe me, if you don't come, somebody's coming. Okay, yes, so exactly. when you hear the messaging about being in your seat, being there early, we get nothing out of you being there that early. I'm just we're telling you to be there early because you are going to miss one of your favorite artists you want to see on the show. Yeah, yeah. it is that pack. It's that pack. I think we're promoting nine eleven artists now. I can tell you now, comfortably, they're going to be thirty artists on the show. Ooh. I can tell you that comfortably. Crazy. Yes. Yeah. I can tell you that right Yeah. Now. Yeah. And see, that's what Birthday Bash is about. Yeah. Yes. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. It's, it's, about, it's a about celebration. Exactly. Let me let me say this. This is what I'm going to say. Killer Mike brings some people out. Oh. That's all I'm going to say. Now, okay. you can guess who it is. <laughs> you can guess what it is. Yeah. 
But don't have your ass in that seat with Killer Mike in that stadium. You're going to be mad you're gonna be because mad. everybody's going to be on social media like, I saw, <laughs> right. I can't believe, right. did you see? Oh my right. God. And you like, nah, I was... Trying to park, trying to find a park over there. <laughs> trying so, to park. So I give him a gym too. I yeah. give him a gym too. Because right, I'm oh, sure we're we gonna we do at least okay. one, one but, more podcast before yeah. before bash, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, the Umpamante set. I can tell oh, you right now, God. not just old Atlanta. Yes. Ooh. There is some superstar. Yes. Quality. Oh my uh, God. Set right. That is gonna people are gonna be like, hold on, what? Like, right. I already like, know. Yeah. Who I already know. Oh my God. Come on. Yeah. This is gonna be I'm crazy. just telling. All right, man. I'm. I got. I'm. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done too. I'm I done. just keep talking. I tell the whole damn no, show in a second. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just, I always want you to go buy tickets. You hey, know what I'm saying? So copy this link, send it to everybody. And uh we're actually on all podcast platforms from Apple Music, um, Radio One, we're all over the place, Spotify, um, on the iHeart platform, we're everywhere. So make sure that you spread the word and uh, go back and listen to the previous podcast because they go in chronology, they go in synchronicity yes. to talk about you know other yeah. things. We have some amazing guests lined up, man. Today was probably one of my favorite. Beehive, appreciate Most it. Definitely, appreciate man. y'all having me, man. Beehive, shouty. June 22nd is going down. Down. Let's go.